What is a dental bridge? Dental bridges are the most common procedure in dentistry that replaces any missing teeth within a mouth of a patient. It is composed of a number of crowns, which are fixed to the teeth that are on each side of the gap in which teeth or missing teeth previously were. They act as anchors for the new tooth or teeth which will cover the space. Types of Dental Bridges There are many kinds of bridges for dental use recommended by dentists depending on the place of the teeth missing and the state of the surrounding teeth. Most commonly, bridges used in dentistry are the traditional ones that cantilever, bridges with a cantilever, along with Maryland bridges. The traditional bridge is the most commonly used kind of dental bridge. They usually used for situations in which there are natural teeth that are on opposite sides that the tooth missing are. False teeth or missing teeth are connected to crowns, which are then cemented onto natural teeth both sides of the gap. The bridge's cantilever is used for cases when there's only one natural tooth in the gap in which the tooth that is missing previously were. The false tooth or teeth are fixed to a crown that is fixed to the tooth's natural one next towards the gap. Maryland bridges can be a more traditional option. It involves the false tooth or teeth connected to metallic or porcelain wings, which are fixed to the back of natural teeth to both sides of the gap. The procedure for getting a dental bridge. The procedure to get a dental bridge usually requires numerous visits to the dental office in the span of several weeks. First, the visit involves preparation of the natural teeth that help support the bridge by shaping them to ensure that the crowns will sit over the teeth. The dentist will also draw impressions of your teeth and create a mold of the bridge. In the following appointment at the end of the visit, the dentist will put on the bridge and perform any adjustments necessary in order to make sure it fits properly. The bridge will be shipped to a lab which will make it custom to suit the individual's mouth. While waiting, the dentist could put in a temporary bridge for protection of the tooth and gums. After the permanent bridge is in place, the patient must be back on a second visit to get it fitted. The dentist will inspect the fit of the bridge and perform any adjustments needed prior to cementing the bridge. It is possible that the patient will need be back in the future for additional appointments to check it is properly set and is functioning properly. Aftercare and Maintenance when you receive a dental bridge, it's crucial to ensure good oral hygiene in order to keep gum diseases. That means flossing and brushing often, in addition to regularly scheduling dental exams and cleans. It's also crucial to be careful not to bite down on the hard and sticky food that might damage your bridge. In some instances, it is possible that a bridge made of dental material will have to be replaced or fixed if worn or damaged over the course of. This is typically completed by the dentist without the need for any additional dental preparation. A dental bridge is one of the most common procedures in dentistry that helps improve a smile and self-confidence. When you adhere to the right process and following the aftercare guidelines, dental bridges are able to endure for years as well as provide a natural, efficient solution for teeth that are missing. If you're thinking of getting the dental bridge, be certain to talk with your dentist in order to find which option is best that meets your particular demands.